So I'm going to try something new. Um, I, uh, I got the chopper, uh, the, the chopper droid mini from uh, JPG, and uh, did the little unboxing and the, you know, put the little link thing down here. Um, or in the, I don't know how to do, make the little links in YouTube, so I'll just go ahead and I'll put a link on the, in the description. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try the, the construction thing. I you know, see some people put together the, this is how I put it together thing, and I was looking through how, it was, how uh, the model was done, and there's a, a little bit of, a couple of tricks. Well, not necessarily a couple of tricks, but you know, it's, it's working with resin and, and doing some, some different things. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of those, this is me assembling videos. Um, so this here, the first part, I'm going to move on to the actual assembly piece. And we're going to go through and see some of the, some of the challenges. I ran into a couple of challenges with it. Um, and we'll, we'll see those as we go through. I'm just going to kind of do a little fast, you know, sort of sped up with, with some points as to how this thing went together. It's pretty straightforward. There's what, like eight, nine pieces. Um, just a little bit of cleanup and, uh, and a couple of little mods that I did to it too for, for my own sake. So like magnetizing the head, that kind of thing. So I'm going to do that and we'll just get to it. So we'll go down to the bench and take a look at what we did. So here are the parts. And you can see I've already put in the center wheel here uh, using green stuff and so forth. So now it's just cleanup time. So I'm just going to go back and clean up these these uh, um, scarlet lines. So there's a bunch here, so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. And we're going to kind of fly through this. So as you can see, you really don't need to do this, um, to be honest. The, the scribe lines that are in the kit are actually very good. Um, really, just a little bit of quick cleanup is really all that's needed. But... Um, I like to use washes to highlight because uh, I'm a little lazy. I use pin washes a lot. So a little more deep, the, the scribe lines being a little more deep will help. Um, it comes out more useful for me and so forth. So I'm just going to go through here and that's by doing this, it makes them a little sharper, a little more distinct. And I'm also, you know, the, the way I paint, um, I tend to hairy brush it a lot, so I will cheat and I will use the scribe lines as panel lines. Um, I put down uh, what you call it, um, post-it notes uh, on edges and so forth to to make you know sharp edges for me when I need to. But all I'm doing here is just being patient, one one little panel line at a time, using the back of a knife and slowly. You know, using the sharp edge at first to just find the scribe line and then the back edge to, to dig it out a little bit. I really don't need to do much. You know, like I said, I've there isn't a lot that needs to done be done. The work that was done to make the kit was fantastic. So just a little bit of here and there, making sure that, you know, these lines are tight and they look good and that kind of thing. So clean up that. That looks good. So now let's go to the head. I'll clean up the edges. Again, the quick and dirty way using the edge of my knife just to get some of the, the casting pieces off and then go back and again start the scribe lines. Now for me, I know that I plan to use <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. I plan to use paint to do his trim. Uh, Jimmy provides a really nice um, decal for this, but I prefer paint just for the look of it, so I went ahead and did the scribe lines in there. Then clean up the legs. Um, you go through, again, There's that's the seam line. The seam is right along there, and it's on the inside, too, of the between those uh, struts. Um, here, I didn't know about that nub. I thought that nub was uh, may have been you know, part of the leg, but maybe not, so I left it. And uh, yeah, it turns out it's not, so I'll, later on in the video, I go back and I trim it off. Um, now some of the entertaining stuff is, you know, I, I, I know Chopper, but I kind of don't have him in my head. So the orientation of the feet is something I'm at this point winging. Um, <laughs> so 
yeah, as you can see, it's backwards. Um, I know some of the folks who follow my videos, <laughs> especially ones who watch me put together the Battle Mech videos, I, I almost invariably have at least one part backward during the during the test fit. So here's just it just needs a little bit of um, sanding on the edges. This is I mean clearly that's where it was poured, um, which takes almost nothing. And you know it's just a quick and dirty wipe. It does not take much. There's not a lot of cleanup for this. Um, the you know it's there are some minor seam lines here and there, and it's a lot better than you get from a lot of kits. You know I mean I've seen crap coming at Gates Workshop that you know is just miserable compared in you know comparatively. Um, so now just go back, sand off the head, and then clean up. You know, and here I'm just going to start looking at the arms. The way these the arms were put together. Um, just clean it up. This is the center arm for his center torso. Um, that ends up, you know, it's just a quick and dirty cleanup. But as it ends up, it's a little bit big, um, which actually works out well. Because then I can, you know, I can just go back, grab a little bit of sandpaper, slide it in. And that's all I need to do there. See, it just fits real cool. And now start looking at this piece. So now I've taken a little break, and I'm just giving you a look now. See, look, I went and got pictures, so now I know how the orientation of the thing goes. So, okay. So now I'm seeing some things that need to be done. So the first thing here I'm looking at, there's a piece. There's a little part that goes on his front. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make one. Um, at the moment, I'm digging for a part. There we go. Go get a card. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut. Cut out a piece of cardstock. You know, I'm, I'm kind of eyeballing where it needs to go. And I'm just going to cut a piece of card. It's a plain card. In the right shape. And then just super glue it down. It's real quick and dirty. It's kind of, and I apologize, I'm still getting used to doing the shape. So you take a little bit of super glue, and, and this is actually how I apply super glue to most of my models. I put um, a drop of super glue on a palette and then just take a toothpick. So what I did is I f folded that, bent it a little bit to kind of meet the shape. Then I compared, you know, I put the piece in. I think that's right about right where it belongs. So, yeah, look at that. So now I'm looking at the legs. So I'm looking at that one nub. Remember I mentioned that nub? Yeah, it doesn't belong there. So I trimmed it off. And it's easier just to gnaw it off with the clippers and then go back and sand it down. So then once I do that, hit it with a little sandpaper. All gone. See? Easy peasy. And then just rescribe the line. So now that I have the picture of Chopper in front of me, I can see the, the little things I need to know about him. So he's, you know, got a certain angle. His The way his feet go are a certain way. Now, um, I use green stuff all the time. This is this is actually how I do stuff. The If you look at the way these feet go in, there's a place to glue it. But it'll make a very small contact point. So what I'm going to do is mix up some green stuff here. And just it's going to add a larger contact point inside the feet. So here I just I, I made it and I put a little super glue in. And yes, green stuff is sticky, but I find that you know put a little super glue in helps helps things stick even more. So there we just put another one in there. Put my little use it with my tool, push it down. So now I put super glue on the or CA glue, whatever we what you want to call it. I put that there. Make sure the feet are oriented right. Now, now we need to get the right angle. And this is this is the tricky part. So we want his front leg to be down and level. And then we also want it to dry straight. So what I'm going to do here is keep going until I get the angle I want. And I'm, I'm touching up the 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 block of green stuff. I don't want to just like loofed out in the space. So I'm going to cleaning it up and straightening it out there. And then I'm shaping it. Now I'm, I'll find the angle it needs to be and then I'll set those aside to dry. So that'll seal up there. And while that's doing that, I will move on to whatever's next. 
which I'm not sure yet. So once I get there, here we go. Making more green stuff. Oh, I know. Um, magnetizing the head. So I want the head magnetized. Um, just because it's, you know, it'll let it turn. I don't have to glue it. And it'll hold it in place. Now the, the head fits very, very well. It's really cool. You can just drop it on there. It's not going to slide. But by magnetizing it, it just lets me make it turnable, which is cool. Because I don't, then I don't have to put a joint in there. Um, and, you know, I've got tons of these magnets, so it's easy. So all I do is I just do that. Then I put the magnet pretty much somewhere in the center. And then, you know, make a nice, um, a nice little mount out of the green stuff. So now, then I figure out how many of the magnets I need so they'll fit. And that's how many. Then up inside the head, put a blob of green stuff there. And then put a little super glue on the magnet. And then I mush it. Mush it together and twist it. And then let it there. I just let it dry. By doing that, now it's dry. Look at that. And I've got a nice little... You know, nice little head join. And so now the legs and the head, the, the legs are dry, the green stuff there is dry, and the magnet for the, um, for the head's dry. So now I'm just looking at what's left. So I've got that much done. They're a little bit loose. And I have a fix for that. I actually will go back later and put in a bit of green stuff in the join but so now I'm gonna look at the arms and we're gonna start cleaning up the arms for his head so start clipping them off um, and these are I would recommend scribing these first because right about here I have an oops Doink. oops yeah I broke it <laughs> so and that was my problem that was my fault because uh, I just I should have described it off. So, but it's easy peasy. There's there's it's not hard to fix. And I'll show you. It's actually I'm kind of glad that it happened because now I can show you a quick and dirty fix for something like that. So first things first, patiently and slowly nibble away the extra material, um, which is really how you should do it. And that's you know it's my own fault for not having done it that way. And then go back and clean this up. You know again super easy, quick and dirty. Sand it, clean it, cut it, <laughs> rescribe the line. Um, these these molds again, or the castings, I have to say, are really really nice. The the design of it is fantastic. It's easy for to clean up these these seam lines. You know they have to be there because you know it's cast, but they're easy. They're not hard to to do at all to get to, I guess. Um, so. There I have this one cleaned up, and then now I'm going to move on to the one that I broke. So that's that one there. Um, I actually end up putting it over in the other one. Um, so now just I clean up the edge there so it'll just fit in just about right. And I want it loose just so that I can glue it in and it'll be good. So now we're going to move on to um, sanding that off just a little so that it'll slide in easily. And again, this is this is simple process. You know, everybody who's worked with a resin kit, you know, these are these fit very well with just some minor little little work. So now, um, I just kind of trim that down just a little bit more because I want it trimmed a little. I, I'd like it to slide in a little bit better than it does. Um, and you know, you don't have to do these either because Chopper doesn't always have his arms out and when they're not out it looks empty so but I'm putting them in or I'm sanding this up so that I can slide these in I clean this up a little because it just there's a little angle in there so there it goes in easy peasy now let's fix this so first thing you do is clean it off um, again just like the other we clean things up make sure it works now I'm gonna put this guy in here and get it to fit so I'm actually going to get this thing put in. Um, I'm going to glue this this piece in place. Um, so I've got it there. You know, and be, for some reason, I had to work on that with that there. So that's the angle I want that on. So now I'm going to clean up the seam lines first. Because again, you know, seam lines. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and fix the break. Um, and really, we're just going to use a little bit of green stuff, a little bit of a hand drill, and 
um, you know, some patience. So first thing we do is we drill this out. Um, doesn't take much. You know, just go in, you know, maybe about three millimeters, not very far at all, um, just to get that centered and, and get a, a mount point for it. And then I go to this, and I do the same. I'm going to start right there in the center, and I'm going to drill that through. Now, this I actually drilled all the way through the part and into the base of the head. Um, and I found that I wanted it that way because it gave me a little more room. So here you can't tell what I'm doing, but I'm just cleaning that off a little. I cleaned off the little extra nub, and I'm finishing up. Again, I'm not used to doing this stuff on camera. So I just go through and drill all the way through it. I get to about this point, and I realize I've gone through, and that's fine. So now, um, grab some of my glue. I grab a, a, a pin. So I've got my glue. I'm getting ready to put that in there. That's me unscrewing the glue. Again, not used to doing stuff on camera. So I apologize for the boring piece. So got the glue, put it on the head, put the other piece in. Just pick it up, stick it in there. Doink. See, easy peasy. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pin. I take a little bit of, I've got those little bits of green stuff I've done, but I'm going to take a pin first, slide that in, because that's what I'm going to use for the the pin. I actually use a pin for the pin. Um, and I'm pushing that a little bit further, and this is where I drill into the head just to make it go all the way. So snip it off, get that ready to go in. Thunk. Good. That's what I want. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this roll of green stuff, and I'm going to shove that down in the hole. This is the, the hole I drilled, and the pin diameter a little bit different. See, it doesn't take much. Take a little more glue, a little more CA, just shove that in, then I'll slide this guy in. So that's what I want. That's the angle I want. So I'm going to clip it off. Easy. Twink. There. So now I have that. And then I use a little more green stuff to build up the base. So it's a, it's got the same thickness as the one on the other side. It doesn't take much. You know, again, this isn't this isn't rocket science, it's just a little bit of patience. And once I've got that squared away, I then take the other I go ahead and I drill this in just a little more, give myself a little more room. Make sure I've got yeah, that's about how long I double check, about four millimeters. I think that's about how far you went. Now I take more green stuff and then again I fill put some green stuff in the hole, then I put the green then I put the Put the C8 in the hole, and then I put the green stuff in the hole just to give it more of a tight uh, space for the pin to bite into. And then, dunk, and then I push it in. And then I let this dry. So with, with that piece done, um, and I've got that there, so now I have, now I have chopper mostly together. And you, know, you can see that's not really fitting. But now I've got it roughly where I want it. And now I'm going to let him, let the uh, green stuff for the things I've made cure up. And I'm, I'm liking how it looks together. It's starting to come together very well. So that's what we have. And then uh, after this, I move on to the next step, which is coming. So that's it. You know, all the pieces, parts are done. Um, his head, arm, is in, put the other one in, yay, that's what it looks like. Um, test fit, put the the legs in. Um, as you can see, and I'll show you here in just one second, I put green stuff in the leg wells, uh, just to let them dry fit better. You don't have to, they fit just fine, but I wanted them to dry fit and hold it the, at the angle just right. So that was it. Um, there's the antenna, I left that mounted so that I could paint it easier later, and I'll get to it. So now I look at the, at the pictures, um, and there's your pieces, and now we move on to the fun part, which is painting, weathering, and all that fun stuff. So that's your assembly. That's putting together Chopper. Wasn't much to it. Great kit.